the Hole Creek would always freeze from December into some part of March. In the last five years, so we haven't had the deep freezes that we saw in years past. I worry the effects of climate change in our part of the world here. My brother Sean and I are fourth generation managers of this family owned facility that's been here for nearly 120 years. Hector, let's, uh, maybe we'll know this that. industry constantly changes. First generation, early on, predominantly involved in shipping on small, narrow wooden barges drawn by mules. Within the lifespan of that generation, which was my great grandfather, he moved through the steam era into petroleum based fuels for propulsion, which is where the industry still is predominantly now. The first time I called Tim was over a year ago, and I think there was a lot of hesitation on his part to take on a project like this, a large scale solution for ammonia to power in a tugboat with a totally new technology, a startup company and in a very legacy sector that needs to change, but not a lot of technology has actually been developed yet. Abigail was looking for a shipyard that was capable of doing a one-off repowering project for a new type of propulsion system. We had a, a 1957 tugboat, WR Co. was her name. We had bought it strictly for ice breaking and hadn't had any ice to break to speak of in five years. The Tugboat Project is the first demonstration of a zero carbon fuel, specifically ammonia, in a maritime application. The pilot house on deck house. We were cautious. It's a brand new project. It's never been done before. We were concerned about the use of ammonia. We were concerned about the use of hydrogen. And obviously you're dealing with two very dangerous products. I kind of look at Abigail like the Energizer Bunny. I worry that she works too hard, but she's forthright, which is what any good shipyard wants. The biggest benefit to using ammonia as a fuel is the fact that it has the highest energy density at the lowest carbon intensity. We hope what that means is we're able to store hydrogen as a fuel in a very efficient and effective way with zero carbon throughout the process. The ammonia molecule is made up of one part nitrogen and three parts hydrogen. To get the hydrogen out, we crack it in a reactor, which applies heat to separate the nitrogen from the hydrogen. The nitrogen is vented and absorbed into the atmosphere while the hydrogen is then used to generate electricity. On the tugboat, liquid ammonia is stored in a tank and fed through the reactor inside the Amogee power pack where it is cracked to produce hydrogen. And the hydrogen is converted to electricity through the fuel cell, powering the tugboat and all onboard systems. The fuel cell is part of the Amogee power pack, which is about the size of three large refrigerators. There are several challenges of using ammonia as a fuel. And most notably, it is toxic, but as one of the most commonly traded commodities around the world, there are a lot of established industry processes and procedures describing how to handle ammonia safely. And we hope to build on that for our team and our customers as well. It's pretty challenging because you have to design around a developing technology without fully understanding all of the implications, but we have a great network of partners and a very dedicated team working hard to make this happen. I think my father would say two things. He would look at the project and say, that's fantastic. And then he would look at what we were doing and ask us if we were completely out of our minds. If we can figure out a zero carbon fuel solution and the accompanying technology, we can find partners to work with across the globe to make it a reality to really mitigate this huge problem for millions of people around the world.
we know that just as this industry has changed 150 times in 150 years, it's going to continue to change. And we believe that this is the first steps toward a new marine-based fuel. And if this project helps speed that process along, we look forward to it.